hi everybody welcome back to another episode of all about Phoenicia. it's going to be about business so if you have an e-commerce store if you have shopify stay tuned to this video even if you don't and are you plan on starting an e-commerce store stay tuned this this is going to be some good tips that are going to be beneficial for you so i am going to turn the camera around and you got to excuse me i don't have the little um screen thing right now but this is the i signed on to shopify and so this video i'm going to talk about according to the title of the video how to manually add products to your shopify store to make it look to show Shopify that hey, I have orders other than the webs. I have I have other orders rather than the ones that's coming to my website, basically. So the ones that are on the that the were that were ordered on the website will already be on here. And you can see it says payout schedule on here. These were the sales, but there's a way that you can manually add your products in. Let's say you are at an event at a pop-up shop or um just in general like if you at church and you just got somebody who wants to order a piece make sure you manually put it in shopify so that you can add up your income and so you will have a general idea of what your profits are what your revenue is you you will have a better idea rather than just keeping it in your head so this is a lesson to me as well so you log on to shopify and to the left over here it says orders so these are the actual orders that came from the website now this was just a test that's why i just said a penny because um it was just a test that um i was doing to test out um something i forgot what it was but um i think it was just to see if my um like the uh point of sale was going to work basically so i can actually i want to can i delete this Ma. Uh, let's see anyway i'm just gonna leave it there um basically so you say you have somebody who come in and they cash up you ten dollars for something for a mask or something that you sold out on the street somewhere so you're going to hit orders to the left and then you're going to hit create order now if that order if that particular item that they purchase is not on the website you will hit add custom item right here and then you will put the item name how much it was the quantity of it and whether it required um whether you tax them or and whether you had to um ship it or not and then you would hit done so let's just pretend like it was a mask let's say it was a um a Steelers mask because i'm just gonna be more specific i like to be specific as possible so i know exactly you know what's selling it was not and it was for ten dollars they just wanted one um it wasn't taxable and i didn't have to ship it because they were physically there so you would hit done so you would put in any notes that you have like i met them at the store at store And then you have the option to send them send them an invoice and they can pay it that way rather than going to your website. Because, you know, a lot of the older people, they're like, I don't know how to use your website, blah, blah, blah. So this is an easier way. You can send it to their um, email address. Uh, let's um, We're going to see the options in just a minute. But or you can mark it as pay if they paid you cash. Mark is pending if you're waiting on it. Pay, pay by credit card. If they have their information that way, you can create it that way. 
or you can send an invoice. Let's say, let's just say send invoice. So you're going to get their email address. Email. Well, you're going to get their name. You're going to get their email address. You're going to get their phone number, and you're going to get their actual physical address, so that you can have their information in your system, and it automatically calculates or populates the where it's coming from. You can either have it coming from yourself or you can have it coming from the business. Of course, we're going to have it coming from the business. And let's just say um, my email address is um, place. And you can actually blind copy yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. And the invoice name is going to be uh, for Steelers Mass for Steelers uh, Mass. And then if you have a custom message, thank you or something like that, whatever. Um, this is for one or, or just just a message that you would need to know. Um, and this is completely optional as it say, as it says. Okay, and this actually can be edited in um, notifications. So you can hit review invoice and this is how it will look when you send off your purchase and when they get it, um, the invoice, then they have the option to visit the store or to complete the purchase by pressing the button that says complete your purchase and then um, you're going to say send send invoice now At the bottom here, it says you can leave a comment, like if they uh, rejected it or whatever, whatever the situation is, you can make your little comments in post. And this is only only you and the um, other staff can see these comments. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to, if they gave you their credit card information, you can enter it in this way. And you're getting their name, address, like I said, phone number, card information, and you're going to say to charge $10. And it says to prevent order from being flagged as fraudulent, please provide as much billing information as possible because a lot of times people will try to play you. So that's how you enter in the credit card information that way. And then you can enter it in because a lot of people, they don't know how to do it. So that is the way you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. But this is how you present, how you do your own orders. And so I guess I could have, should have kept it on there, but I didn't want to. It would have showed up on here as an order so therefore you would know what's coming in and out of your store whether it be from the website or from other avenues that is a way that you be able to keep it up so that you can be able to apply for it because you know Shopify has um, different uh, loans and all this kind of stuff and, and, and grants that be able to help small businesses so this is the way to keep track of your funding whenever you have a legit business and you're very serious about your business so stay tuned to this video stay tuned to this channel i'm going to have more videos about how to run an e-commerce store how to run a regular uh, uh, brick and mortar business i have all kinds of tips tips and tricks for you guys so until the next time you guys be blessed i hope that this helped you talk to you guys later